Sunny fam, what's up? It's your Sunny trainer, Sydney. And today I have a 30 minute advanced mini stepper with resistance bands workout for you guys. That was a mouthful. We have a lot going on in this workout today. I'm really excited to share it with you because I know that you guys have been asking for this for a long time. So we are going to be mixing cardio. We're going to be using those resist resistance bands while on that stepper. And then we're also gonna be doing some floor work to hit those legs and core. So seriously, a little bit of everything. So we're gonna get started with a quick warm up here, just starting with some step jacks. So stepping straight out to your side, nice and easy, just like a regular jack. If you wanna add a little jump in there, feel free. But if you wanna keep it low impact, this is perfect right here. Keep breathing, great work. All right, we're gonna switch it into a little butt kick. So just kicking those legs, heel to booty. Nice and easy. If you wanna add a little run in there, be my guest. Otherwise, we can just keep it right here. Nice and simple. All right, let's get down into a squat. We really wanna make sure that we are warming up those legs because we are going to be using them quite a bit today. If you can't do a full squat down to 90 degrees, you can just do nice and shallow squats just like this whatever you need to do to warm up your body today. Let's add a little twist at the top. So we're gonna twist that body to each side, alternating sides. Kind of opening up that upper body as well. Great work. One more on each side. Awesome. Let's head up onto our stepper. We're just gonna get started with a basic step here until we get into the rest of our workout. All right. Nice and easy on that step. Just a basic step. Working on building that cardio before we get into our workout today. The first portion of our workout is going to be cardio based. So we're gonna be playing with quick step, power step, basic steps, all of that good stuff that you guys love. So get ready for some cardio. Have about 20 more seconds and we're gonna start with quick step. That's our first type of cardio. We're gonna be doing 40 seconds of each kind of cardio. Ready, first quick step in three, two, and one. Let's go. Nice and quick. Move those legs as fast as you can. Remember, we're trying to get that cardio up. Work that body. Keep breathing, you've got it. 10 more seconds. Next up, we're gonna switch to a power step. All right, so nice big drives. Let's work those muscles. Ready? Three, two, and one. Drive those pedals all the way down. As powerful as you can. Remember, we're taking that athletic stance, so a little bit of a bend in the upper body so that we can really use those glutes and hamstrings. Great job, you guys. Keep it up. 10 more seconds. Next up, we're just gonna do a basic step as our recovery. Three, two, and one. Back to that basic step. All right, so we're still pushing that pace, not quite as fast as that quick step. 
getting a little bit more full range of motion. This is our rest, so soak it in. If you need to take it a little bit slower, feel free. We're gonna repeat that and go back to the beginning for some more quick steps. Ready, in three, two, and one. Quick step, let's push that pace. During this cardio portion of the workout, I really want you guys to be thinking about pushing yourselves because for the rest of the workout, we want to be able to keep that cardio base up so that we're burning as many calories as possible, right? Making the most of that time. So really push yourself. 10 more seconds and we switch to power step. Keep fighting for it in three two and one power step engage those legs keep on it try to keep that momentum going i know it's tough the resistance on these machines is so strong Ten more seconds and we switch to basic step. Keep it up. In three, two, and one. All right, back to that basic step. Nice and easy. Now remember, this is our recovery. So if you want to slow down that pace, be my guest. When you're ready, we're going to grab those resistance bands because for the next portion of this workout, we are going to be doing some upper body exercises. So grab those. Nice deep breath. Try to catch that breath. We're gonna get ready for what's coming next. So our first exercise today, we're gonna be doing alternating bicep curls to a regular bicep curl. So curl, curl, both arms come up. Single arm, single arm, both arms. All right, are we ready? Let's do this in three, two, and one. So we're alternating those arms and then both arms come up. Now when it comes to your pace, just find whatever works with you and your steps. You'll kind of get into a groove, but it can be kind of tricky at first. Great work. Keep it up. All right, next exercise. We're gonna switch to a bent over row to a tricep kickback. All right, so just two moves. Upper body is bent over. Drawing those arms back behind you and then kicking them back to get those triceps fired up. Keep it up. Keep moving. Whatever pace suits you, let's just try to keep those muscles under tension. Keep them moving. Switching to shoulder raises in three, two, and one. Raise those resistance bands all the way up to chest level. Keep those wrists. Nice and controlled, nice and straight. Don't want any injuries here. Now when it comes to your range of motion, remember everybody's resistance bands are going to be a little bit different depending on what machine you have. So just bring those resistance bands as high as you can. Don't force anything. All right, we're still gonna be working those muscles. In three, two, and one. Back to that alternating bicep curl. Try to get into a rhythm.
Almost there. In three, two, and one. Bent over row to tricep kick back. Great job, you guys. You're doing amazing. I know those arms are starting to burn. Keep it up, keep moving. After we get through these exercises, we're gonna move on to some floor work. So we'll give the upper body a rest. Keep moving. Five more seconds and we switch to shoulder raises. In three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. Keep breathing and just keep moving. You can do this. We're almost through that upper body portion. Halfway. Ten more seconds. Keep it up. And three, two, and one. Great job. Bring those resistance bands down. We are gonna hop off that mini stepper and head straight into some floor work. So, this is our last little circuit in this set. We're gonna be doing two total sets of this full workout today. So, we're gonna finish it up with our floor work and then we will have a rest. So trust me, rest is on the way. But before our rest, let's get these exercises. So 40 seconds of each exercise, three exercises, we're gonna repeat them twice. All right, ready? Our first exercise is pop squats. Ready, set, let's go. For this exercise, you're just gonna be popping it down into a squat, jumping at the top, and then dropping it back down. Nice and simple. If you don't wanna jump, you can just keep your legs right out here. Regular squat, all right? Either way, we're getting those muscles worked, which is what's important. If you can handle the jump, it's great to keep that cardio up. In three, two, and one next exercise, we are going to walk it out into a plank, cross body mountain climbers. We've got four, walk it right back up, all the way to the top and bring it back down. Remember we only have 40 seconds. So try to get in as many as you can. Ten more seconds to go. We're gonna switch to some back lunges next. All right, back lunge to the top of your mat. We're gonna lunge it right back, knee drive up, back lunge back, and switch sides. Back lunge, knee drive, back lunge, and switch. Keep moving. Work those legs. Remember, we have rest coming up. So let's make the most of these exercises. Three, two, and one. Back to pop squats. Keep pushing. You've got this. Just keep moving those legs. Ten more seconds. In three, two, 
and one, we switch to walkouts with the climber. Now, if you wanna add a little sprinting motion to your climber, you can go just like this. I kind of prefer the slow ones because I feel like they get your core better. A little more challenging. And you know me, all about a challenge. All right, last exercise, those back lunges to knee drag. 40 seconds, let's move, make that time count. This is our last exercise before we get a rest. So really push that pace. Ten more seconds to go. Stay on it. In three, two, and one. All right. Shake it out. Catch your breath. Grab some water if you need it. We're going to take a full one minute rest and we'll head back to our stepper and do it all again. Shake it out if you need it. Work out those muscles. Get in the right mental space to do all of that one more time. I know that you're tired, but I also know that you can do it. So we're gonna push through and we're gonna be all the stronger for it. All right, we're almost there. 20 more seconds, so head back to your stepper. We're gonna start with that cardio circuit again. So first step, we have quick step. So get ready, get excited. We're gonna do this. Ready, in three, two, and one. Quick step, pick up that pace. Remember we have 40 seconds of each exercise. It's not a ton of time. So we really wanna push ourselves and make each and every interval count. Ten more seconds to go and we will switch to that power step. Quick feet, quick feet, all the way through in three, two, and one. Power step, nice and big. Try to push with through those steps as fast as you can, as hard as you can, engaging those muscles. Driving down through those heels. Great work, you guys. Ten more seconds. Switching to a basic step. In three, two, and one. Nice and easy. Remember, this is our recovery time. I know it's, it doesn't really feel like a recovery, but if you need to slow down a little bit during this little part of our workout here, feel free. I know we don't have a lot of rest in our workout today, so if you need to pause the video and take it at any time, feel free. Ten more seconds, and we're back on that quick step. Ready, in three, two, and one. Pick up that pace as quick as you can. Half 
Halfway through, 20 more seconds. Back to power step in five, four, three, two, and one. Nice and powerful. Keep pushing. Remember to keep that core nice and tight. That's going to help you push with more power through those legs. Halfway, almost there. Keep pushing. Only you can push yourself from home, right? If I would, I would jump through that camera and make you work. But since I can't, you have to stay on yourself. Keep it up. Switching a basic step in three, two, and one. Slow down that pace a little bit. Catch your breath. Great work, you guys. Remember, coming up next, we're gonna be working with those resistance bands. So feel free to give that a rest and grab those resistance bands. Keep stepping. We're gonna get back into that alternating bicep curl to regular curl. 10 more seconds. In three, two, and one. Curl, curl, both arms. Keep it up. I know those biceps are trembling. Let's give them a good pump today. Keep moving. Five more seconds, and we switch to our bent over row to tricep kickback. Three, two, and one. Slightly bent forward here, as far as you feel comfortable. Nice and tight core. Drawing up with those elbows, then back through the hands. Keep it up. Almost there. Keep moving. 10 more seconds. In five, four, three, two, and shoulder raise. Bring it up. Nice upright posture. Just pulling those resistance bands as high as you can. If it's not all the way up to shoulder level, that's okay. Remember these bands are nice and tight. So just do what you can. Switching back to those bicep curls. In three, two, and one. Try to get into a rhythm. I always have a hard time with this one. Alternate, alternate, and big curl. Remember, this is our last time through these exercises, so fight for it. In three, two, and one. Bent over row to tricep kickback. Really get a good full range of motion. Working that back in those triceps. Feel that burn.
Ten more seconds. And switch. Shoulder raises. Fists are coming towards each other. And we're raising those bands. Nice and controlled. Almost there, keep pushing. In three, two, and one. All right, let those bands go. Shake out those arms. Man, they are dying. All right, last but not least, our floor work. Ready, let's do it. We're gonna start with those pop squats. Ready. In three, two, and one. Remember, we have 40 seconds of each exercise. We're gonna go through it twice, and then our hard work will be over for the day. So keep it up. Halfway through. Keep those legs moving. In five, four, three, two, and switching to walkouts. Climber, 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 and climber. Walk it back up. Great job, you guys. Keep moving. Maybe you're going faster than me or slower than me. Whatever your pace, keep challenging yourself exactly where your fitness level is at today. And this is gonna be a good workout for you. All right, last one here. And we are gonna switch to those back lunges. Ready, let's switch. Back lunge, knee comes up, back down, and switch. Keep moving, already halfway through. Come on, you guys, push that body. Switching back to our pop squats in three, two, and one. Keep fighting for it, guys. I know you can see how tired I am, so I am right there with you. Keep pushing yourself. 10 more seconds. In three, two, and one. We switch to walkouts. Whew. Thank goodness those are over. Keep pushing yourself. If you get too tired for those climbers, just do regular walkouts, right? Just walk it out and walk it back. Whatever you can do to keep moving your body. Last one. And walk it on back. All right, last exercise, back lunges. All right, you guys, this is it. Dig deep, keep pushing yourself to move. We're in the last 30 seconds of this workout.
in five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! We made it. You guys did it. I'm so proud. All right. We are gonna get into some quick stretches just to cool down that body, all right? So let's get into a little hamstring stretch here. One leg comes forward, toe pops up. Reach for that heel or the toe, I'm sorry. I'm forgetting what body parts are called. I'm very tired. <laughs> leg is nice and straight. You should feel that stretch in the back of your leg, that hamstring. Switch to the other side. Great job, you guys. Keep breathing. Let's catch that breath. Nice and deep breaths. All right, we're gonna bring it down to our mat. Because we worked our whole body today, let's do a quick back extension stretch. So press those hips towards the floor. Shoulders are nice and open. Chest is open as well and look up towards that sky. And let's stretch it back into a child's pose. So knees come nice and wide, hands right out in front of you, reaching for that wall in front. Nice deep breaths and try to relax that chest and that upper body down towards the ground. Walk it out to your right side. Feel that nice little pull through your oblique, your shoulders, stretching everything out. Let's walk over to that other side. Come back to center. All right, feel free to take more time to cool down today. I know that was really intense, so it's always good to take time to cool down, stretch out your body, give it what it needs. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. We'll see you guys next time.